Well, hello there, guys. How's it going? Good to see you again. Uh, we're going to be playing some Bomber Crew today. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen this game yet, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, of course, you play as the crew of a Lancaster bomber, essentially sort of like a British bomber. There is also a United States Air Force campaign, a secret weapons campaign, a bunch of other skin packs and stuff. I haven't actually picked those up yet. I've just kind of had fun with the game as is. So let's jump into my current campaign. Um, I usually am quite bad with the saves coming in this game. I will pretty much like reload a save if I think it was an unfair uh, kill or whatever. But I haven't done that with this particular save, and that's the Thunderbird right here. So if we go down here in flames, you guys are going to see it, of course. Uh, we're at REF Woodbridge, six missions flown, 30 enemy fighters destroyed. And we want to go ahead and jump into another mission as soon as possible. I'd love to get some more stuff on my aircraft right now, but it's just not time. Um, that's going to come later uh, since we don't have the money. We have added quite a lot, but obviously we have a lot of work that could still be done. Hey, how you doing, guys? Simran Carr. This review is kind of late. Oh, it's not a review. It's just, uh, it's just, <laughs> just me playing the game. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump in here. Yeah, let's do briefing. And we've already done the first main mission, I believe. I really want to go for something kind of simple here initially. And this is the Doodlebug Blitz. Host of V1 rocket sites. Low risk. That would be maybe a little too low risk. Let's go for something a little riskier than that. Ammo dump. Now, this will lower enemy damage. Uh, so this is definitely the one I'm going to go for. It'll lower enemy damage for two turns after this. And again, we're going full hardcore mode here. If we get taken down, then so be it. All right, let's see. Let's get out of here, folks. It's actually just recently uh, that I saw Richard York, uh, it's another YouTuber here that you guys should check out, uh, playing this, that I was like, oh, I haven't played this game in quite a while. Let's go ahead and fast forward here. Oh, we already have a problem? Come on. Let me slow down a bit. What a time for our electricity to go out. Let's go ahead and get that fixed. One of the kind of frustrating things about this game, but the very realistic aspects of this game. Okay, we're kind of flying off into the night with no real idea where we're going, but we know where the ocean is, so at least we can continue on our heading. <clears throat> I don't think our radar will be too badly messed up because of this. Gibbons. McMillan, Crowhurst, Masters, and McKay. And for now, we're going to keep McKay up here. But obviously, eventually, we're going to have to put him there in the bomb bay doors, open up the bomb bay doors, and drop all the, uh, well, the, the bomb load here on the enemy target, which is going to be an ammo dump. I'm sure it's going to be pretty well defended by AA guns and uh, probably some enemy fire planes, so we've got a fight ahead of us for sure. Let's see. No, oh, McKay. Sorry, that was my fault. Let's put him back. And as you can see, I'm also putting the Engineer King in this uh, gun down here. It's quite nasty. It'll definitely take down some enemies. We haven't spotted any uh, enemy fighters yet, but I believe we will. And maybe we should actually go up to medium. We'll think about it after this fight here. Really not trying to lose my plane. I think we'll just stay at low um, altitude, drop the bombs quickly, and get out of here quickly. We're going to go ahead and use our focus. I'm slowing down here just to give me a chance to kind of set these abilities. And this should help quite a lot. We've got some pretty good uh, gunners, actually. Starting gunners. We've got a hazard location on the map. We could take it out. Or is that the ammo dump? This could be the ammo dump. We're going to start the bomb run. Let's get this guy over here. Open up those bomb bay doors. I'm just going to select two bombs for now. Who knows? We, we might need more. We might want to, you know, do some additional missions over here in enemy territory. Come on, come on. And enemy fighters are spotted on radar, but I'm definitely not looking for them right now. This is not the time. Got to focus on the ammo dump. Sure enough, we got a storm as well to deal with. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, please. Please, please, please. I'm going to go for the recon. I'm crazy. I'm going for the recon. I want to get that picture. Let's see if we can find those other fighters. We're not giving up, boys and girls. We're keeping those bomb bay doors open to take a picture. All right, McKay, get ready. 
Ooh, they've got some AA around this damn thing and more enemy fighters. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. We'll worry about those in a second. For now, let's just get the picture. Boom. We got it. We got it. Let's get out of here. Can we survive? I don't know. We're already taking some pretty nasty hits, and it looks like Dudley is out of ammunition. Let's go ahead and let him grab some. Make sure Gibbons gets back on focus. And that's right, we had some more Messerschmitts, I believe, near us, unless they've gone off elsewhere, but I'm pretty sure we have another group here that we haven't tagged. I don't know, maybe we got lucky. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely see that on the radar. It's off to our sort of forward to the left, or northwest, as it were. Should be somewhere around here. Oh, maybe above us. Oh, I see, I see. Get them, boys. I think we're not only going to get home with some recon photos, but also with some pretty good kills. Assuming we survive this, in fact, one thing we want to do, let's close those doors. And let's get McKay into the frontal gun here. Let's use that focus ability. I'm just going to go ahead and plot our course. This is a fairly easy mission and uh, an easy way for us to make some money for future fights. Just that heading. Didn't take that much damage, actually. Take a closer look, closer inspection once we get closer to base. <laughs> Bye, bomber. Exactly. No, we're fine. We survived. I mean, yeah, we got pretty lucky, but as you can see, yeah, that left wing is, is beat up for sure. On. Should be ready to focus at this point. There we go. We can actually score a few more kills. We haven't gotten an enemy ace yet in this playthrough. Uh, that's definitely what I want to focus on very, very soon. Come on. They're following us all the way back to the English coast here. They are quite cocky. But I think they're probably going to stop the... Probably stop the hunt right here. Yeah, definitely. They're not going to go all the way to the English coast. That is insane. At this point, just want to get the engineer back to his post and head back to RAF Woodbridge, our Air Force Base. There she is. Let's lower that fuselage. Get those tires out. All right, monsters. Let's bail out. No, 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 no. All right, here we go. We're going to lower the gear. I'm so, like, sometimes I'll just do that and then reload the game just to see what happens. And I don't believe a single one of our people actually has a parachute. That's another thing we have to buy separately. Um in the game itself. So once we can afford the parachutes, probably a good idea, because then you can go to a higher altitude if you get pretty badly damaged and just pretty much bail out. Uh, most times, if you're over English territory, you'll make it back to base. If you're over enemy territory, you'll likely get captured, but hey, at least you're not dead, right? So that's a good thing. We go London right behind us, and landing is commencing. Let's go ahead and just fast forward for the landing deal here. Not too bad. Let's take a look here at your chat. Hey, Ken Doggy. How you doing, buddy? Thank you, man. Saying hit that like button. Absolutely. Oh, I got a funny story for you guys, too. Um, this is... Uh, don't feel bad. This is kind of funny. Um, so I broke my toe. I did not go to the hospital. But, um, I got up to pee, like, two nights ago, and, um, I kind of, like, you know, I didn't put the light on the bathroom, and I just slammed my toe against, uh, the bathtub, and, uh, it's definitely broken, like, uh, it's the big toe on my right foot, um, but here's the thing, I hate hospitals, number one, number two, I've done all the research I can on this thing, and the thing you're supposed to do is pretty much just tape it to the next toe, ice it, and elevate it, it's gonna peel on its own, it's not really, like, a serious break, but, man, I am, it was hilarious the way it occurred, um, you know, in retrospect, when it happened, I was terrified. Uh, I'm not going to the hospital, so don't even recommend, and just not doing that. Uh, Icon Rostov says, uh, I remember playing this when it came out. Yes, this is a fun game, it is. It is a fun game. 
Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. I, I, again, I'm still not crazy about the art style, but I, I forgive it because of the gameplay. So we could potentially get some more gear for our crew, although I think I'm going to go actually to the aircraft. Uh, we were actually upgrading our fuselage. Um, we had just upgraded the engines. So what I want to actually... The electrical system also needs upgrading. But what I really want is to just get the, um, up, the fuselage fully upgraded, if that makes sense. So maybe the armored fuselage Mark II... That might be a little too, um, heavy. You know, we can do it. Oh, yeah, it would put the bomber over its weight limit. So this is why we need, um, better engines. And we can also repaint this thing. We've got a pretty boring-looking plane here. But as you can see, I've gotten the best engine I can. So I think for now, what I'm going to do is just try to upgrade my guns. Get this Mark I with an ammo feed. Even this might be over the weight limit. Let's just get the Mark II... And even that's going to be weight limit uh, a weight limit issue. So we really do need to get um, new engines. I think for now, it's a good time to upgrade the electrical system. Whoa! Really? All right, let's take a look here, man. That's that's very strange. So I guess we need to unlock... Um, what's this? I guess just mission points, essentially. That's no fun, man. Let's at least get an inflatable dinghy here. That's going to be over the weight limit? My goodness. All right, we definitely need to go on more missions, folks, and try and uh, kill as many of the enemy as possible. The good news is... We can get our crew whatever gear they want and still have plenty of money to, sp to spend. So I think we should get oxygen systems maybe for our full crew. Probably not a bad idea. Oxygen. Let's get a tough and small O2 bottle. Yes. This way we can go to pretty high altitudes without much of an issue. Ooh, basic bomb aimer set. All right. He is one of our aimers. Ooh, I like that. All right, so we'll equip this to our gunners. Now they look like proper, proper gunners. Um, should we do Gibbons as well? Yeah, let's do it. Basic gunner set. There we go. All right, I also love the music in this game. Sort of the World War One era music. Oh, Pixel's asking, have I tried the secret weapons? I'll ask him to join Join us in stream. <laughs> Not coin us. Join us in stream. So he's actually, he's recommending the secret weapons DLC. Um, That, I'm not sure if that comes with nukes or something like that obviously it's like additional weapons you can also get the one i want to get is the american dlc uh because that lets you fly the b-52 bomber which is my favorite bomber i believe of all time so um i might just get the dlc for that i might just send him an email and ask for the dlc did the toe go to market he says <laughs> yes it did it went to a market in the worst part of town rostov it was a really bad neighborhood <laughs> and things happened <laughs> Um, okay, let's get back to the, the actual flying here. Uh, jump to our overview, and we're just gonna go to the next mission, guys. Uh, now, damage is down for the enemy, so I'm not too concerned. Although I am a little annoyed that we still can't upgrade our engine. Okay, let's see. So this is La Copula. A facility construction site has been discovered, and this is gonna do something that will launch something bigger than V1s, probably V2 rockets. And there's also an enemy ace in the mission area. Now, since our damage is down, I'm really tempted to try this one. Uh, but I do feel it might be a little beyond my abilities. So what? Let's go for it. It's going to take us a long time to be able to afford that engine in terms of just uh, experience points. All right, we fly at dawn. Here we go, folks. Let's get out of here. And we'll actually go up to medium this time because I believe this, this flight will be a little bit longer. We don't necessarily want to be, you know, spotted that easily. Careful, those aces can be bruisers. Yes. Hey, Pixel, there you are, my friend. Good to see you, man. Yeah, I haven't um, gotten the secret weapons. With, so does that allow you to get, like, nuclear bombs? Or uh, what does it give you, essentially? I mean, I, I absolutely want to try it out. Felix Feta. So, of 
course, as many of you know, the grandfather of uh, famous tennis star Roger Federer, Felix Federer, the German ace. That's a fact. Trust me. Don't Google it, though. It's just a fact. Um, okay, so, yeah, we can see pretty well up here. We might still be able to navigate, uh, but sometimes they can have problems with navigation if there are a, there's a lot of cloud cover up here. I can see pretty well. I think they're going to be all right. Although, again, that's... Yeah, he can't. No, no, no. He's just not that good. We're still noobs here. So let's head down a bit. Of course, it makes us, it makes us easier to get hit um, by AA fire, but we've got to do what we've got to do. So let's head down and just hope we don't get killed. i seen a few videos on that. But I never really purchased any actual DLC for this game. I, I believe there's three of them. Might be something to consider pretty soon here. All right, we're at low altitude. He should be able to see here in a few seconds. Our navigator's going to get fired. He is just very, very new right now. Doesn't know where the hell we are. We could actually set the um, actual um, locations ourselves, but I, I trust this guy. I, I want him to do the work. I don't want to do the work myself. There we go. Dealt with rain two nights in a row. Can we not get a break? Doesn't make flying easier, that's for sure. Well, it might put out fires easier. Let's go ahead and radio for recon. We don't usually use that ability, but it just lets us kind of know um, if we've got any enemies ahead, etc. So that's an optional recon opportunity. Honestly, not really interested in it. I just want to go ahead and take out this launch site. Let's prepare for the run. Here we go. Still haven't seen the enemy ace. Uh, and oh my goodness, this is a different kind of bomb. I believe we might have to release it beforehand. Uh, this is a rolling bomb. This is... Uh, yeah, man, this is going to be terrifying. Oh no, Felix Fender! He's here. He is here, guys. My god. All right, is that going to be him? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I hope I, fi I figure this out. I might drop one beforehand. I don't know if I could drop directly on top of this one. Uh, let's let's just go for it. Best of luck. Oh, we got it. We got it. But can we get Felix Fetter? I don't know. The problem here is also uh, that there are a tremendous amount of enemy fighters around. And I mean, this is crazy, man. We're gonna have to slow down here for two reasons. I want to find my heading, and I want to turn on focus for all of these other um, gunners. Focus. Come on, you can do this. Oh boy. Come on, boys. And he still has so much to go, and we still have enemy fighters approaching. Even more enemy fighters approaching. I don't know if we're going to make it out of here, folks. I might try and go medium here. Try to lift up a bit. Marked a new heading. Pretty good timing on the new heading. Nice. Come on, I really want to get him. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh no, he's down. We got somebody down here. Let's bring our engineer forward. Uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and fix that. We also fix the electric system. We're also gonna have to get a med kit and pick up some ammunition. My goodness. Okay, come on, Dudley. It's all up to you. It's all up to you, son. It really is all up to Dudley. We use his focus, or is it too uh, early? I think it is too early. He's almost got him up. All right, at this point, it doesn't matter. Just get on any gun you can find. We'll fix the electrical system eventually, but right now, we've got a tail that's about to fall off. All right, we've got to do something about this. Let's go ahead and fix that. And this is an oxygen issue, so we want to definitely go low. It's not so bad if we don't fix the electrical. We won't die from that. Well, we will die if we're too high and uh, the oxygen that doesn't hit us. So actually, Felix Fetter, I, we didn't get him, guys, but hopefully we survived. Um, the very damaged bomber. We didn't lose any of the engines, but let's just see if we can make it back to England. 
I'll actually get him out of his seat for now just to fix this. Get that hydraulic system fixed and we'll get back on the guns. Man, what a fight. Lost some of the ailerons. Isn't that what they're called? Ailerons, I believe. Hello, Angel. How you doing, buddy? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Close the bomb bay doors. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Sorry, sorry. That is something I typically would do, um, but a little, a little anxious. Good point. So let's go ahead and close them doors after we fix the hydraulics, of course. For now, we can take the engineer. I feel like we might be low on fuel. Get a closer read here on the fuel situation. We're very lucky. Um, so we should fix the hydraulics pretty quickly. At that point, uh, we can close these bomb bay doors. And let's go ahead and let's do a bailout. No, let's not do a bailout. Let's lower the gear. Got very lucky on this fight. Um, I am kind of annoyed we didn't get Felix, but I still think we need to upgrade the engine um, and get some get some more guns, some heavier guns. The only heavy gun we have is on top here. It's got an auto feed system, so essentially this guy will never run out of ammunition unless the entire plane runs out of ammunition. Of course, we'll just keep firing. I'd like to get that for the entire plane, but that's not necessarily the heaviest caliber ammunition. So uh, if we get a Mark II, it's going to be slightly heavier caliber and. Maybe we do some more damage, but we still need to go, you know, go and pick up our ammunition manually. So very lucky, man. We, I think we were, the back of our plane was about to fall off there. It was just about to be sawn in half. In fact, you can see through this entire portion of the plane here. Welcome home, boys. Also, we almost lost uh, some of our pilots there, or more, more precisely, some of our gunners. So 2,025, still not enough, unfortunately, to get... Uh, our new engine, as far as I can tell. Let's see if we have got any new abilities. Nope. That's too bad. Got the standard engine, Mark II. And this will increase our weight limit. So this will do the port inner and the starboard uh, inner as well. And we'll grab the starboard outer. So we still managed to upgrade here. And now for the tail turret. Do we get the Mark II or do we get the Mark I with an ammo feed? I'll take the Mark II. I don't mind going to pick up ammunition. I think this is quite important. It is time to upgrade the electrical system, but I'm really more concerned about the hydraulics. And we'll do the electrical system a little bit later. All right, folks. One more flight? Why not? Let's take a look here at the briefing and see what we've got to do. So this Bremen tank factory, this is low risk, but it seems pretty far away. Um, let's go for something a little bit closer. Just a standard sub hunt. That's a bit too easy. The Doodlebug Blitz. So this is pretty similar to uh, to what we just did. We'll go to Bremen. Time to destroy a factory, folks. There are new upgraded engines. Should be able to really take the fight to the Axis. And as Ken Doggy said, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. It really does help. All right, let's raise up that beautiful gear. It's looking somewhat shinier now. It's looking kind of a bit sturdier. Those engines look nice from the front. They just look beautiful there. Uh, but not the best. I mean, obviously, there are even better engines you can get. These are pretty good, though. With the distance here, I wouldn't mind going to high altitude and trying out our new um, oxygen masks. The problem is, even though we might not be killed by the lack of air, we could be killed by just the cold of the area. We don't all have winter gear here. So I think the most I would do is medium. Let's try medium, and hopefully there is not too many clouds uh, today. It doesn't seem to be as bad, but once you get up there, it, you get a kind of a new perspective. So we're heading into medium uh, altitude here. And you can see the cloud cover is a little patchy, but 
He should be able to see through that, no? Yeah, he can see alright still. Now, of course, it could get worse as we go along, but we're just hoping that doesn't occur. Can't believe in last mission, this entire thing was ripped to open. Just this, like a can opener. It's looking much better right now. Let's recon. We might do some additional missions. Uh, not sure yet. And I'll also take our engineer here and put him on the um, the bottom gun. Nice! He can still see, so we're good up here for now. Absolutely good up here for now. Even this altitude could start getting a little colder. But it's really once you get into high altitude that um, cold air and, uh, of course, uh, just lack of oxygen becomes a big issue. Okay, we got some fighters on that radar. I see them. Might want to lower my altitude here. I'm not sure if we can get a bomb drop from... I mean, we probably could get a bomb drop from this high up. Uh, but I can't even see through all this cloud cover. So, probably going to go ahead and descend a bit. Oh, we've got flak. We've got flak. This is going to be dangerous, folks. This is low altitude flak, so you know what that means. We change our uh, change that plan and go right back up to medium altitude. not going to be able to reach us up here, but are we going to be able to spot the target? We'll have to wait and see. And maybe we'll eventually have to just lower just to get that shot off. And this guy Dudley's going to have to go back for ammunition eventually, so we'll just bring him back now. Not the greatest time to come back for ammo, but we don't have much of a choice. So this guy should have... Yeah, actually, I should didn't need to do that because he's got... Um, a Mark I reloader here. The one problem is Dudley got pretty badly injured there. Looks like he took a shot. Well, let's see if he can heal himself. Oh, don't tell me he can't heal himself. Shame on him. Shame on me. All right, let's put that back. We're going to have to get somebody else to heal him. And we're going to have to go down a lower in terms of altitude. Or maybe not. Maybe not. I wonder if I can pull this off. Already we're having problems with the electrical system. All times. Alright, get on the bomb bay doors. Open the doors. I might be able to see it. It's going to be a risky one. If that cloud is in the way, I'm going to be really annoyed. Here we go, folks. Enemy fighters spotted on radar. We're going to have to get a visual on those here in a second. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Now we just want to go ahead and select those new fighters. Uh, as far as I know, we're, we're not going to have the ace around. At least I didn't see it as a threat. But, you know, even with six or seven enemy fighters, this could become a problem. Let's go. Another group of fighters. My goodness. Uh, we're going to control here just because, once again, use that focus ability. Tag that last fighter. And I'm not going to go to lower altitude until we're over the water here. Because I think that flak is still at play. In fact, we might even be able to get back. Um, because of a cloud cover today, we might be able to get back at medium altitude. So I'll keep it here for now. Oh my goodness, again with that electrical system. Uh, and King is getting shot up at the same time. Dudley's going to have to go back for more ammunition. Come on, folks. I'm just going to get lower uh, for the sole purpose of being able to land faster and hopefully shaking off some of these Germans. So I don't think that's going to happen. So 
I don't usually try the corkscrew maneuver. We could try it. Let's see how that works. This is supposed to sort of uh, ward off some of the enemy shots, but to me it seems a bit crazy. Uh, that kind of terrified me. Oh boy, this could be it. We're going to try to get on the ventral turret here. Looks like our plane is very, very jumpy. Why, why is it telling us to go there? No! Doesn't make sense. Alright, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, King is going to have to go ahead and heal Dudley. If we want Dudley to survive this. Here we go. And heal him up. Close these doors and get on this frontal gun. Although even this thing needs ammunition. Oh my goodness, both of them down! <laughs> We're gonna have to do something about this. Uh, why are we going here? This doesn't make sense. Unless it's leading us on a wrong course. Nobody being on the guns right now. I just hope nobody attacks us. Yeah, they're attacking us, although we're finally over water here. I feel like we're getting a bit closer. Just need the enemy to leave us alone. Come on now. There we go. All right, two of them up. Somebody fix that thing. Get on the rear gun. I don't know if we're going to be able to save King here, guys. We're going to take the K. That might be the only med kit here, so I'm not sure King is going to make it. Sacrifices must be made. Let's go ahead and fix the hydraulics before they become a problem. It is going to be a miracle if we make it back here. No! Forget go- Are you crazy? The guy wants us to go back to Belgium to snap recon photos? I don't think so. Don't think so. And I don't trust this guy, so I want to make sure that the navigator is actually heading to the correct area head this way towards England. Stay away from Belgium. I think we're going to be safe for now, but unfortunately, yeah, that guy is going to be dead. It's our only loss so far. Um, a sad one nonetheless. King was a great engineer. We're going to have to get a new guy to replace him, but maybe they can save him back at RAF Woodbridge. Not likely. Definitely not likely, especially considering the NHS only came into existence in 1945, if I'm not mistaken, after the war. Guy will fall, doors still open. No, no, you're lying. You sure? You're lying. Impossible. I think you're right. Pixel's always right with this. No, no, no. Oh, oh come on. Did we get it? No, I think it was close. Okay, um, right now we do have... It looks open, though, because of this. What the hell is that, in any case? Oh, that's just the bottom gun. It kind of looks scary to me, too. I thought we had, like, a, an aircraft in us. Uh, let's take a look here at the actual gas situation. We could use... Oh, we can't use lean because we've lost our, um, our engineer. He was able to actually use lean gasoline. Uh, this guy is unable to, unfortunately. No, I don't want to go... I guess... Let's hope that we're staying in England. If I see water... I'm absolutely going to go ahead and remark uh, the location. Poor King. We won't forget you soon, son. So for now, let's just keep McKay in that top gun position. No, 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 this is not look. Give me the map. Give me, the Give me the map! Not doing what the captain says. Can you imagine going back to Belgium right now for to snap some recon photos? <laughs> I would just be so pissed off. That's not happening, guys. We're going back to RAF Woodbridge. That's pretty creepy, man. Getting closer, getting closer. Um, 
Take a look at the fuel. At least we'll know if we're gonna crash. Um, and if we are gonna crash, we can, uh, you know, get the get the actual wheels out, etc., and pretty much prepare for a crash landing. It is pretty low. It is dangerously low, in fact. Uh, I'm gonna lower the gear now. Why can't we simply select RAF Woodbridge here? And we better be able to select it soon. Oh, is the recon, maybe the recon photos is a necessity? Is that what it is? Oh my goodness. Well, this is a good way to end a stream is to try an emergency landing if that's the case. Uh, we'll fast forward here just a bit. I think that could be the issue. So we're gonna do an emergency landing, guys. We're gonna test out our emergency landing skills. Let's make sure we're over a nice flat area. Gotta get away from that river. Gotta get away from that river. So we're gonna go ahead and actually head this way. We definitely don't want to land in a city. Okay, we definitely want to go for just the best we can. That's going to be it. Uh, what else can we do here to minimize damage? Not much, folks. Emergency landing it is. Here we go. Let's see if this goes well. It's our first emergency landing in game. Oh, oh, oh! What? That? What is this? What is? Well, I think we're okay, but um, we've fallen into some sort of green swamp. Uh, the good news is, yeah, we're good. Uh, incredibly, that's pretty amazing. Mission success. And again, I'm not sure why that didn't pop up. That's that's not something that's happened to me in this game before. Uh, we just didn't get the return to base bonus, but we got the, the Thunderbird back, and all of our crew is returned except for, of course, Charles King, who got killed on the aircraft. Pretty successful crash landing, I must, I must say, or emergency landing, I should say. Uh, I doesn't usually go that smoothly, believe me. Uh, usually, you're looking at some serious damage to your plane, and possibly even some dead crewmen. Other than the dead dude in the back, you're fine, says Pixel, exactly. Thank you so much, guys, for watching uh, this stream. I think most of you guys already know about this game, um, but I, I mean, the title is made intentionally to draw you in. Come on, what do you think this is? This is YouTube, people. Man, what, do you, what else do you want? Gets a lot more hectic soon. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I've actually, I think I've, I haven't gotten to the last mission in the game. I believe I got to mission nine and then uh, exited the game. But I am considering one of those DLCs, man. They look pretty, pretty crispy. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. I appreciate it.